welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you've been with me for a while <sighs> i'm happy to have you uh we are doing date night i am dressed up so we are actually going out to dinner to sit in somewhere to eat it's called uh it's a new restaurant here in columbus it's called the hen quarter well i don't know if it's new it's new to us we've never been there uh, they do not have a tasting menu. It's just a regular menu. Uh, so we'll check it out and we'll take you along the way. Oh, and I'll put pictures of my outfits up in the somewhere. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Yeah, they had a they had a section on my website. See our cocktail. They had a picture of a drink that looked really good, but then if you clicked on it, it only just took you to the menus page. And they didn't have an actual menu or a, an actual menu for the cocktail. Hello. Uh, just tap water is okay. fine. And um, can we see the specialty cocktail menu? Yes, I'll grab that for you. Okay. And then our menu on the screen, so if you scan it with your phone, oh, oh. oh. oh that's the dinner menu. I didn't yeah. see that Touchless side. Menu. Okay. I saw the other side. I might end up just drinking wine. Um, what is your sweetest white wine that you have? I can't hear you, I'm sorry. A black Friday Chardonnay that's pretty sweet to me. Okay. Okay, well let me let me see the specialty drink list first and then that was on here too. I didn't know that. Is it? Well, that's, yeah. that, bourbon that, and spirits. So, yeah, that just has your list of just straight bourbons and whiskeys. Okay, There's no actual the cocktail. Cocktails might be on the food. Barely bottom. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Just give us a couple more minutes. Thank you. Fine, thank you. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't, I can't read that. Yes, I'm gonna try the or I'm gonna do the Moscato. Okay. And um, what is on your charcuterie board? It has five cheeses on it. It's like five cheeses, salami. Well, it's not a salami. It's a ruffle. Also, it has deviled eggs on top of it. It has a has what? Deviled eggs? Double yes. Yeah, okay, so if I got the charcuterie board, then I wouldn't want to get the deviled eggs, too. I know we can have two deviled eggs, honestly. We'll get the same amount, but we gotcha. get a, a taste of everything on the charcuterie board if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. It has deviled eggs. It has a toast point on top of it. It has corn for the two cheese that on it. It has a mozzarella or a corn, a goat cheese on top. Also, a grind and wine cheese as well. Okay. Okay, what do you want to drink? Um, let me get the, uh, the seven days. I mean, just get anything, it's all good. And I think we will start out with the charcuterie board. Um, just, um, just put, like, the crustinis on the side for him. Okay. And, um... The pork belly and the appetizers, can that be made gluten-free? I can double check for you. I believe it can. Okay, if it can, then that's what I want for my main course. Okay. Is the appetizer or pork belly. If not, then let me know and I'll pick something else. I'll check what it is right now. Okay. Okay, so, so then we'll start with the charcuterie board and then I'll have the pork belly appetizer for my actual dinner. As my entree, yes, uh, just gluten free, and then uh, scallops or shrimp and grits. Scallops. Scallops. <laughs> Thank you. Only when I wear really big heels. Thank you. 
forgot to bring my business cards. Okay, so that was what was it called? Hen quarter. Hen quarter. Um I don't know. I think the food was good. I don't think it was like outstanding. It's not the best we've had of those things that we'd had today. Um, you know, it wasn't the best cheese board we've ever had, or charcuterie board we've ever had. Not the best pork belly. John said his scallops were cooked fantastically, but um, I don't know. I would say that the food was a four. And I would say that the service was probably like a three and a half, just because it seemed like we had to wait forever for certain things, like a charcuterie board, which is just meat and cheese. Like that took forever to come to the table. My second glass of wine took forever to come to the table. Um, so I don't know. I, I would say it's a strong three and a half. Uh, I don't think I would ever come back. Right. Yeah, and the atmosphere is a little bit too uh, bustly. Yeah, it was really, really busy, and I did not, I don't know, I suppose that those could have been like six feet, I don't know. To me, I was nervous with my mask off, because we were sitting in a small area that only had four tables. One woman at one of the women at one of the tables coughed and then some dude sneezed at another table, but like it was this tiny area. Tight tiny area with four tables. So I don't know, that kind of made me nervous. But I think um I don't know. I guess I would give it a three and a half, a strong three and a half. Um, but it's not a place that I would come back to. So starting route to INS. That's it. Head east uh, on Bridge I need to Park Avenue. Put my seatbelt on. <laughs> Talk to you later. Side. Have a great day. Turn right Bye. Onto Drive.